before you. There are many different types of soulmates. We have our deep spiritually loved soulmate, but also love in very different ways. We love the entire being, and that's what we call what we call a split apart. Um, a split apart is the soul when it's created by the mother and the father breaks apart to two halves. There's only one of those, and when you find them, that's an all-consuming, everlasting love. Um, but then there are others that you can love for different reasons and different purposes. And usually always, well, I shouldn't say usually, I should say always, it is a learning experience. So when you fall out of love, doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Or a relationship ends and, you know, you think I failed. You didn't fail. It could be that you wrote it this way and that that person was someone that you chose to live with for a certain amount of time and then you decided to leave. And if that is the case, you passed. You just passed. You cleared a karma with that person. You never have to go through something like that again. The first thing also that we just discussed animals because animals are so true, you know, and near and dear to most, well, I, should, I think everybody. Um, and they're such healing beings. Um, they're the first thing that you will see when you enter the light. Um, and rem just remember this. When you start to leave the body, all memory of every life you've ever lived since the beginning of time returns to you. And you know everything. You knew everything when you came in. You know everything when you leave. So there is no fear. It's almost like a mad dash to get back and to start your journey in the spiritual realm again to go over what I've done, what I learned, what didn't I get right, what didn't I learn, um, and to assess that. And again, like I said then, most souls do not reincarnate for at least 200 years. Most, some choose to do it again. Are animal souls different than physical being souls? Absolutely, there is a different soul for everything, but all things that live have purpose. Do animals reincarnate in the same life? If you had a pet that crossed over and you loved this animal more than anything, and I think everybody has at least gone through it in one lifetime or another, um, did we do the right thing? You do the right thing when you, when you, you just do. Um, but they don't normally reincarnate in this life. They, can, they come back and they plan it just like we do in the next life because they're the first ones to meet you when you cross over. And they look about eight weeks old. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful reunion. And heaven is where we reflect. It's not up, it's out. Your mind can take you to any place in time, any lifetime you've lived, witness how it went. Um, if you need to reinforce something that you needed to learn, you go back and you look at why. Um, because when you do choose to come back, you don't have to, but living a life in a physical body and trying to accomplish the things that you set out to do is much more difficult than doing it over there. And because a soul wants that challenge, it wants to walk in all shoes. Because until you've walked in all shoes, you cannot know what it's like to be someone else. So therefore, who are we to judge anyone? There isn't anyone better than anybody else. And if you've been told you're less of a person or you're not as good as this person, that's just simply not true. It's not true at all. Some people may have so much money and so what? Does it make them better than you? It doesn't make them better than anybody else. In the end, what you take with you is who you were to people in this life. So if somebody's a bully, change your ways. If somebody is a mean, nasty person and just is an ingrate and feels the world owes them a favor, you know what? They're going to have to feel everything, like we all do, that they ever inflicted on anyone in this life. And that is how we learn, because we cannot know what it feels like unless we feel it ourselves. So next week's show will be about indigo children, psychic children, and I actually will be interviewing my web administrator producer. She is probably one of the experts on that field. And it's going to be kind of fun because I get to talk to her this time and take questions for her. And um, it'll be very interesting. And I can't wait. I can't, I can't 
wait to um, interview her and see what she has to say about indigo children. And they are incredible children. And um, it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to let you go. And I'm not taking questions now. This is just the recap of the show. And hopefully when you do watch the show on Monday from 7 to 9 Eastern Time called Mysteries, Magic, and Mayhem, uh, you will keep your, your questions to topic. We're not going to answer questions that aren't on topic, which is about indigo children, psychic children, and gifted children. Gifted children are children that are remembering something from another lifetime. It's not about religion. It's not about the Bible. Never read it. It was a frightening book as far as I was concerned. And we're all children of the same mother and father. So it really doesn't matter. Everybody's beliefs are their own. I don't judge people for what they believe. It's, it's up to you what, you what you want to believe. But I know that people that tend to be extremely religious are very judgmental. So take a look in the mirror and see if there's perfect there. Because if you see perfect looking back at you, um, I don't think you should be here. Because nothing is perfect that lives here. We're here to learn. And I know people believe Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. No, he's not. You are the truth of your life. He lived his life. And he's been here many times since. So you can believe that or not. It really doesn't bother me. Um, I know what I know. And you're listening to what you have been told. Um, if you could see what I see every day of your life, you would never question at all what I'm telling you. So I don't predict the future. I don't tell about events to come. I only tell you what your family and your loved ones have to tell me. If you want to make an appointment, you can go to my website, www.vicki.monroe.com, and shoot me an email. And we can schedule a phone, a Skype session. I also do very large events, group events. Um, I have my third book coming out in the spring called The Conduit. And I hope that you'll continue to join us wherever you are in the world today, um, morning, noon, or night, wherever you are. And join us in the show and enjoy the lively conversation. It's fun. It's a learning experience. It's a light experience. It's not meant to be um, downtrodden or against everything biblical. This is not what this show is about. It's about teaching you to remember that you have an ability that you can see more than you're allowing yourself to see. And that death is never the end. Death is merely a transition. People don't just go into the ground. No, that's not how it works. So I'm here to teach you that. If you want to listen and you want to learn, come to the show. If you don't want to listen and you don't want to learn, don't listen. Do what you want to do. It's up to you. Don't judge others, though. When you judge someone else, you're going to judge yourself in the end, and you might not like what you see. So. Be kind, be compassionate, be understanding. Have patience and tolerance, but don't judge other people. It's not your job. Judge yourself. You might not like what you see. You might love what you see. You might think I'm doing the right thing. I'm being a good person. Good. Be the best person that you can be each and every day. Be thankful for each and every day. And I'll see you here Monday night on Mysteries, Magic, and Mayhem. I'm Spirit Messenger Psychic Medium. Vicki Monroe. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Spirit Messenger, comma, Vicki Monroe. You can follow me on YouTube, Spirit Vicki. You can follow me in a lot of different places, but I hope you'll join us, and I hope, I hope you keep this um, in your mind that you are loved, we are all loved, and we all have a purpose here. And I will see you next time, actually Monday. Um, on Mysteries, Magic, and Mayhem on the 6th of February, 7 and 9, Eastern Time. Have a great day, and have a wonderful night or afternoon or wherever you are. I'll talk to you soon.